Hello, this is Jules from VR Tracker, and today I just received uh, some new boards for body tracking and end tracking. So let me show them to you. So here you can see this is the latest uh, tracker board. This is the version 3 of our tracker. Uh, mostly the only change since last time is that we reverted to the micro USB connector that is actually better. And we have an IDC connector with 26 input outputs. So for the end tracking and body tracking, we developed a simple, uh, what I would call a splitter board. All it does is that it takes that uh, connector and it transforms it into smaller connectors. So those are 8-pin connectors. And here, for example, for end tracking, you can see that at the end of each connector, we have uh, an IMU. So the IMU will give you the orientation of that board. And we can put up to six uh, IMUs and X boards, six boards. And what you can see is that on each connector, we have two free cables. So those cables, what are they for? Uh, well, we can put, for example, a vibrating motor. If we do uh, a glove, we could put a vibra vibration at the end of the fingers to have some uh, force feedback. Uh, we could use them also in body tracking for force feedback. But the other things that we are also going to be using them for is in body tracking. Here you can see those uh, circuits are designed for the end tracking because they are very small. Look at that, if I put it on my end, or close to my end, it is, it is quite small. But for body tracking, we are going to do some a bit bigger boards that can be attached to straps and we can uh, put uh, infrared LEDs also on the tracker so we can do inverse kinematic and forward kinematic with both the position and the orientation of uh, those, uh, those boards. The only thing is that we're gonna have wires between uh, the sensors on the different body parts. So that's the only uh, drawback. But... Uh, it will also allow you to have only one battery for the sensors and it will make it even cheaper. So that's, that, that's the cool part about it. So no, I just want to take a minute to talk about uh, the tracking glove. Uh, I believe that currently tracking gloves on the market are way too expensive and though the hardware could be really cheap. So our goal is to, uh, and the thing is that uh, the best controller in the world is your hand and it's the, the most natural to use. So this is the best way uh, to interact in VR, and especially in VR arcade when people don't know uh, VR. So we'd like to have a glove. The only thing is that at the moment, we don't even really have time to work on the software. As you can see, the hardware, it's, it's okay. It's, uh, it's almost 100% done. Uh, we just have to make it smaller. Actually, the goal would be to simply uh, remove that board and directly put all the connection on this one. So this is quite easy. We could have a new version in a, in a month. Uh, but the thing is that we maybe want to make it open source so people can work on it, work on the software, work on the plugins, on the end kinematics, uh, because... I believe that even the solutions that are currently on the market, they are not great just because of the software, not because of the hardware, but like sometimes your finger go into a weird shape that uh, is not supposed to happen because you could just say that you have some uh, fixed joint and uh, you cannot move your hand in, uh, in any way you want. So um, if you're interested in joining uh, that project and uh, make the, that glove together and make it open source, well, drop us an email and... Uh, let us know because we'd be happy to start sharing it and organizing that and sharing the data and the information and also have some developer kit ready for you uh, by next month or within like six weeks. So just let us know and uh, we'd be happy to, to work together with you. Have a great day. I hope you like this update. Cheers.